expect to see you tonight, Mama. I know, but I was just on my way home from the Golden Year Senior Citizens Club, and I thought I'd stop by and say good night. Oh, that's nice. Want some coffee? Well, I... We need to be back to fix you some soon. <laughs> My Mother Jefferson, what are you doing here? I brought you a present, Louise. Why, thank you. How thoughtful. Bertie and I entered the tango contest at the club, and we won first prize. <laughs> I knew you'd love it for your living room. Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> I just knew it was you, Louise. <laughs> it's, uh, really something. Well, I'm glad you like it. It's something you can always remember me by. <laughs> well, I know you two want to be alone, so I'm off to my itty-bitsy apartment. Bye. Bye. Yeah, bye, Mama. And don't forget our date, George. Remember, we're having lunch on Monday. How could I forget? You wouldn't stand me up, would you? Are you kidding? How could I ever stand up my best girl? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it nice of Mama to give us this whatever it is? Oh, is that your mama? I thought it was your best girl. What? How could I ever think of standing up my best girl? What's wrong with that? Your wife is supposed to come first, George. Your mother's not supposed to be your best girl. That was just an expression, Wheezy. In a pig's eye, and that's an expression too, George. <laughs> Why are you getting so steamed up? It's just a little game we play. Mama likes to hear me say it. Well, this mama don't. <laughs> well, you never minded before. Better late than never. And it's time you told your best girl you are not taking her to lunch on Monday because you are coming to the funeral with me. Wheezy, wheezy, wheezy. <laughs> Easy. Do you really think that I'd rather be having a dull lunch with Mama than being with you and your dead Aunt Alice? <laughs> yes. I'll let you in on a secret. I can't stand those lunches. Then why do you do it every month? Because if I didn't, it would break her heart. You know how she looks forward to those lunches. She's blackmailing you. That's crazy. Why should she blackmail me? I give her money anytime she wants it. I don't mean that sort of blackmail. I mean, she's been using your guilt to get you to do things for her. What guilt? George, when your father died, you felt you had to take over for him. How could I do that? I was only a kid. There was four of us in that house. Mama had to work her butt off to take care of us. <laughs> Maybe that's where the guilt started. And I think she's been playing on it all these years. You know, there's something to be said for what you think. At last. And that something is garbage. <laughs> All right, then prove I'm wrong. Come to the funeral with me. That wouldn't prove you was wrong. That would just prove I was nuts. It's time your mother set you free, George. And I think she ought to be told so right to her face. Back off. Uh, why, hello, Mother Jefferson. Uh, what brings you back here? I got all the way to the corner and I didn't have a exact bus fare and that bus driver wouldn't trust me for a nickel. Imagine that. And I even offered to give it to him the next time I saw him. And I told him who you were, George. What did he say to that? He said, get off the bus. Ah!